Hello, today I'm going to show you my uh, Amiga 1200 uh, tower project that I'm uh, working on now. Uh, I can say a little bit of the machine. It's a uh, it's an old uh, Lbox uh, power tower tower cabinet tower case with a uh, revision 2B motherboard with uh, the capacitors uh, replaced. It does have uh, it does have. Uh, Mediator 1200TX uh, PCI interface. It has uh, underneath it. It has um, uh, uh, fast ATA uh, Mark IV uh, IDE interface. It has um, Indivision AGA 1200 uh, Mark II CR uh, scan doubler. It has um, Voodoo 3 uh, graphics card uh, in the bottom slot and it has uh, fast ethernet in the slot above it and uh, lastly a uh, sound blaster 128 uh, underneath there is the uh, 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 CF card uh, in the PCMCA slot, uh, eight gigabyte uh, compact flash for the system hard drive, and a hundred and sixty gigabyte hard drive for storage and all that. I also did a slight modification to the case. I mounted a hundred and twenty millimeter fan to draw in some more air. I drilled out a few extra holes. Uh, On the front, here you can see the front. The two, um, these two CD-ROMs are not connected. I just temporarily put them in to fill out the hole. This one is connected. Um, it's a DVD drive and uh, internal uh, floppy drive. Uh, it draws in the air from the two bottom bottom uh, openings here. Um, the second from the bottom. Uh, had some transparent plastic that I removed so now it draws in air from both holes. It has a standby button, I'm not sure what it does but it's connected to the accelerator card and a reset button that uh, resets the machine. Uh, can take a walk around. Here is the back side. And here is the accelerator card, which is uh, a Blizzard 1260, uh, not overclocked, so it's running at uh, 50 megahertz. It's a 68060 processor, and it also has the uh, SCSI kit mounted on it. So this has a total of 192 megabytes of RAM, which isn't too bad. I'm uh, going to upgrade this to a power PC at a la later stage uh, when I get a card and then I'm going to have 256 megabytes of RAM. Okay, now I'm going to start up the machine and you can see uh, what it looks like. I'm going to pause the video now as it's uh, slightly slow at the end. Um, Booting because of uh, how the system is set up at the moment. It's now all booted up. Uh, currently, I'm using this uh, old uh, AT uh, keyboard from a uh, PC. It has a keyboard adapter on the back, so you can use PC keyboards. But uh, I bought a Amiga 4000 keyboard now that I'm going to use. I also have this Amiga branded uh, mouse and uh, mouse pad that I'm use, uh, using. Um, as you can probably hear, the computer is slightly noisy. But I haven't uh, put in any uh, fan regulators yet. So, uh, um, 
because uh, the fans for the uh, graphics card is very noisy so if I can adjust that down slightly it would be a big improvement. Uh, the monitor I'm using is an old um, Lenovo uh, 1280 by 1024 monitor. Uh, the reason I'm using this is because it has both VGA and DVI inputs. Uh, since the scan doubler outputs on uh, DVI and uh, the Voodoo outputs on VGA, it's perfect for the purpose. Uh, as you can see in the top here if possible as you can see there it has uh, a lot of memory I have some slight issues with the graphics as you can see there it has uh, on transparent and uh, color uh, or uh, shadow effects it has these colored lines that appear uh, the system itself is uh, Amiga OS uh, 3.9 with uh, Classic Workbench version 28, I think it is. Uh, it's running on uh, Picasso 96, set up to the native screen mode. Um, I haven't really done much to the system yet anyway. Uh, I have put in the latest uh, library files for the CPU card. I also have uh, um, uh, high-speed uh, math libraries for the CPU card and uh, stuff like that. I um, can probably show you the place uh, MP3 files really well. And probably uh, just put on this. This is a <coughs> variable mp3 file which I think is one of the most uh, more challenging ones but it plays, uh, but it plays uh, 320 uh, mp3s as well really well. Just using this old amplifier for now. Um, it also does uh, play games really well. Just going to pause it a little bit. Sorry about that, I just had to change the um, sound outputs. Uh, now I'm going to start up Doom. As you can see, it's running quite smoothly. This is a port of the Doom, uh, which is called uh, Doom Attack. Uh, the cool thing with this one is that it has some features like free movement with the mouse and all that. But as I mentioned, I also have some issues with the uh, with the uh, 3D games or the graphics. Uh, and now I'm going to start up Quake. This is a ported version of Quake. As you can see, it has uh, a lot of graphical glitches. Almost looks like a disco.
sorry about the sudden pause, but I uh, just wanted to show you how the game normally acts. As you can see, it's really not playable at all, like this. I'm not sure what's causing this, but I'm guessing it's a configuration or driver issue. I still haven't found out what's causing it. Uh, I've tried uh, getting help on uh, online forums, but still haven't uh, found any solution yet. I also actually sent an email to Lbox in Poland <laughs> and um, asked if uh, they actually can provide some assistance with this. And it's also really slowing down the game for some reason. Even the menu is really bad. Just going to pause the video again slightly just to reboot the computer. Okay, now it's booted up again. Just thought I could um, show you um, Pro Tracker. This one runs in uh, native um, screen mode. So now I need to um, change the um, image properties to the digital input. And there we have it. I can find a song here. Just take a random, take a random song. And it plays this really well as well. Uh, the MP3 plays from the uh, Sound Blaster while this plays on the original chipset. So you have um, two uh, sound outputs as well from the computer. Now to change the screen mode again. There we go. And lastly I can just um, run uh, which Amiga just to show you the specifications here as well. Don't know if you can read it that well, but it has uh, the 68060 at 50MHz, Revision 6, uh, FPU, MMU, uh, all the RAM and the expansion cards, Amiga 1200 computer. Hopefully I'll figure out this um, uh, graphic issue and uh, get a PowerPC card soon. And uh, I'll uh, probably update this video on how the project is going. Thank you for watching.